Hello YouTube, here it is, the long-awaited official Oxygen OS 5.0 Android 8.0 Oreo. It's finally been available and you'll be start getting the OT update soon. So let's go ahead and check out the features of this Oreo. First of all, we go to settings menu, about phone, you can see I'm running on Oxygen OS version 5.0 which is based on Android version 8.0 Oreo. And this is the Oreo Easter egg that you can play with this octopus. So let's go ahead and check out the changes that came with this version of Oxynoise. In the left pane, you can find the OnePlus shelf. If you don't want to set up OnePlus shelf, you can remove it from here. It's up, it's up to you. And then we have this swipe down app shortcuts icon pack from the OnePlus. And then you can also customize the home screen layout that we were doing the same in the open beta so that's about the launcher and here you can find these are the apps regular apps that we use in oneplus and then this is the camera there is no difference in the camera it's just the same that we were getting in the nougat version you can find all these settings these are the regular settings that we know and then these are the other stock application that comes with the oxygen noise so let's go ahead and check out the features one by one first of all we have this added panel apps so if you, if you go to settings menu apps here you can see in a parallel apps option click here and then you will be able to see all applications that are compatible with the parallel apps applications like uh, whatsapp facebook skype so you can have a different whatsapp account on the same phone and the next one is the picture in the picture i'll show you the example of picture in picture so if you are going and opening any video and if you are playing in the full screen I'm changed to full screen. And then when I tap some hundreds button, left. So the video will be and on top of that. It's at the point where control those video and then you can look, see that video while doing something else. I'll see I'll show you their instant one more time. translation of live speech is not only possible but it gets better every year. The reason I'm reciting those things to you is because I can tell So that is picture in picture. So let's jump on to the next feature that is the autofill option so if you go to settings menu language and input option you can find this autofill service if you click here you will be able to see all the applications that are compatible with these autofill options suppose i am using this last pass so i can use this last pass in any of the website that i am checking in chrome or any other application then simply tap and then use the autofill option so all the username and password will be automatically filled i can use this same option to fill any of the forms that is that i see in any application or the google chrome which is quite nice next is the added smart text selection so i'll show you the example of smart text selection so Suppose if I am typing something, uh, it looks like a phone number. So if I'm double tapping that, so it will select and it looks like a phone number. So I'll be able to get this phone app so that I can directly tap here. So the phone app will open and then that number will come and dial it right from there. So if I'm typing just phone number, tap, that phone app is not there because it doesn't look like a phone number. So it's actually understanding what we are typing for example if i am typing some something uh, some email kind of address so if you double tap it will select and then i can see the gmail option here because it found out that it's a email id same like that if i'm uh, typing some location name like bangalore or something so you can see uh, the maps is opening so so if i'm typing something like paris selecting you can see the maps coming here so it's more about the that we are type so it is smart selecting next one is the new quick uh, settings design so th this is the new quick settings options here so you can see a lot of toggles even we have this auto brightness you can also edit from there you can add or remove icons to this option quick settings and jump to settings menu and then switch between users all these options are here and it is a new look next one is the updated security patch to this September which is a great deal so if you go to settings menu about phone you can find Android security patch level is September 1st 2017 next one is the settings that we will get for the launcher so first of all they added notification dots 
So suppose if you are getting any notifications that you will be able to see a blue icon or blue dot on top of the icon. Here I have just downloaded a new app so the play store you can see a dot a blue dot on top. If you are getting any whatsapp messages you can see this something like that. If you are getting any messages or calls right, missed calls you will be able to see uh, these blue dots on particular icons. It's a feature of Oreo. Next one is a new app for the design so this is the app design and if you want to change the name of the app you can tap here and then give it and if you want to close it you can either uh, swipe down or you can tap or anywhere and D. so this is the new folder design and it looks, it looks really, really good and the last one is now able to upload the photos directly to shot on oneplus so we have this shot on oneplus option so if you go to you can find shot on oneplus option here click here and if you are logged in uh, you will be able to click here and then you will be able to select any of the new photos you have uh, you want to upload and then select it and upload it so that is there and now let's go ahead and check out the performance of this update so this is the Antutu benchmarking score that I've got for this update as well as the geek benchmark scores the scores looks uh, decent and almost the same like nougat uh, there's not much uh, jump from the scores and talking about the battery life I'm getting the normal 3.5 to 4 hours of battery time no improvements over there also but I'll be keep on testing and then updating regarding any issues or something that I see in the, this version so please keep, keep subscribed so how you are going to get this update fast first of all it's new update and probably you won't be able to see this update in, from the system updates but you can update forcefully by going to play store and then download the opera vpn software and connect your region to canada region once the canada region is connected go to settings menu and then system updates and then check for the update so you will be able to get this update if you don't see that update at first check keep on checking and you will be able to get this update and this update will is a ot update so if you are currently on an open beta update then you need to flash the official ota update first then only you will be able to get this audio update otherwise you won't be able to get it go ahead and check out and let me know what you're thinking about this build and please be subscribed and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thanks for watching please subscribe for more